Hello YouTube, this is Hockey Boy here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft server on 1.3.1 using Bucket. Uh, now, I've already done this video, I recorded it, did everything perfectly fine, and for some reason uh, the recording was deleted, got lost somewhere, I don't, I don't know what happened to it. So I'm just going to review what I did in the same detail that I've done, and uh, hopefully it'll work for you. It most likely will. So first what you're going to do is you're going to need to create a new folder. Just go to new folder. I've already done that. Name it something that will let you know that it's for your Minecraft server. As you can see here, I've named mine Minecraft server. So then once you've done that, you're going to go to here, uh, which is the bucket website, but I'll have the exact link to this web uh, site here in the description below. Uh, just click on that, download the craft bucket and save that to your brand new Minecraft server folder. So now, uh, while that's downloading, go onto your Minecraft server folder and create a new text document by going new text document and name it start server or something like that dot and make sure it's dot bat so just like that. But I already have mine done there. Mine's right there, so then you're gonna go on it, go onto it, click it, and then click edit, and then you're gonna type in this code here. I'll also have this code here in the description, uh, and and if this code doesn't work for you, there will be other ones there in the description. You'll just have to find out which one uh, works for you. <clears throat> so once you're done that, you'll just have this start dot bat, and this craft bucket. Uh, craft bucket with a bunch of letters and numbers after it uh, and then it will say dot jar what you're gonna do is you're gonna need to rename that rename it just to craft bucket dot jar and what this here is is this download thing right here so once once that is done double click on your start dot bat and this will pop up here and it will just load up all this stuff And as you can see, mine only took 4 seconds, but when you do it for the first time, it'll take you around 20 seconds. So now that this is done, you'll have all this now, and now, you, now you're up to speed with me. And now, you just go to your Minecraft, uh, run your Minecraft. Log in. And then go to your multiplayer uh, screen once it, once it loads up for you. So just click on multiplayer, direct connect, and do local host, join server. And once it logs in, you'll have your server. So as you can see, here's my server. Um, it, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be showing you now how to port forward. Thank you, see ya. Hello YouTube, I'm back and I'm here to show you how to port forward. So this is just for mine, but it can also work for yours as well, it's just slightly different. So what you're going to do is go to your start panel and type in, in the search bar CMD and then you'll get this command prompt. So when you're in here, what you want to type in is IP config. Press enter and you'll get all this stuff here. What you really need is this and this. So right now you're just going to type this number here into the, into the internet. So 192, I already have it here, 168.0.1. And so now you, you come to this, a login screen for whoever runs your internet. For me it's Cisco and normally your username is either admin or some variation of that. You can find it on your router, the your username and your default password. Mine just happens to be CUS admin, and my password is password. Um, normally everybody's password is password for this. So once you're here, you're going to go to your applications and gaming, then port range forwarding. And so this is what you're going to do. Um, so you're going to start your start port. Is 25565 and port same thing and your protocol is both now that here comes the tricky part not really what you're gonna do is go back to your command prompt here you're gonna type in the first 
uh, three sets of numbers here. So 192, 168, point zero, point one, or sorry, not point one. Just these three up to up to zero. So see how I have that there. And then you take the last number from your IPv4 address, which for me is 12, and put that right there. Then you click enable, save settings, and you're good to go. And now your friends can join your game once you get your uh, once you get your IP. And you can do that by going to www.ipchicken.com, and it just pops up with your IP address right there. And so now, as you can see, I'm gonna start up Minecraft and join my own server. Once it loads up. And also another thing in here you can do in your server properties. This here is where you can uh, do all your, change all your things. So you can do, that's like the message of the day. So you can change it to, I like chicken, if you want. Something like Sorry about that, guys. My audio just cut out for some reason. Anyways, um, so here you can do your plugins. You can just download plugins and put them right in there. And so now what you're going to do is you're going to, you can add your server, and so I'm just going to name mine, my server, and then here I will just type in my IP address, if I can spell server right. <laughs> so now I'm just typing in my IP address, and then once I'm done that, I will click done, and as you can see there on the IP chicken, you can see your server address easily. And so after you're done this, you must type in the port, which is 25565. So once you've done that, as you can see, my server is up and running. You can just double click that and join it. And once it loads up, your server will be all ready and done. So now that your server's up, you can just tell your friends. Uh, you can get them to join, so give them your server IP, but make sure that they type in the port. Um, so that's it. Make sure to favorite, like, comment, subscribe, um, and stay tuned for more uh, more gameplay of Minecraft. I'm going to be doing a Let's Play coming up soon, as well as uh, custom maps. And so yeah, so thanks for watching, and uh, that's about it. Thanks.